Hey gang, this is Dan Chang with Stringer X coming back at you with another video. And today we're going to do a quickie on how to put on an overgrip. So we're going to start out, you've got to take the finishing tape off and most overgrips just unravel. Once you get them unraveled, there's usually a piece of plastic on most of them. This is a Babolat Tor Pro grip. So you just pull the plastic. Once you get the plastic started, it comes off pretty easy. Of course, this one doesn't want to come. There we go. There we go. And you just pull the plastic off. I like to pull it all the way off. Some people don't. Personal preference. There's a little sticky tab on the bottom. So you just pull that sticky tab off. And that will get you the adhesive to secure it to the grip. Once you pull that off, I like to start mine. If it's a Babolat or a Yonix grip, I like to start it on one of the corner bevels. For a Wilson, I like to start it on a side bevel. And for head, I like to start it on the very first bevel. It doesn't really matter. It's all personal preference, but it's just how I like to be able to roll my grips. I'm just going to pull that little bit off that was on there. And for righties, we're going to go in a counterclockwise motion. For lefties, you would go in a clockwise motion. The key is to pull not too tight, but not too loose, so you get a nice uniform unraveling of the grip. And as you get near the top, some people just fold the grip over, depending on how much they have left. As you can see in this particular instance, I don't really have a lot left to cut it. So what I'm gonna do is unravel it just a little bit. I know the player that I'm doing this for is a one-hander, so I'm just gonna do a little less overwrap near the top because he's not gonna need that part of the grip. And now that I got that, you could cut it, or in this particular case, I'm just gonna fold it over because again, he's a one-hander. If it was a two-hander, I would cut it, so that way there wouldn't be a little extra. But since he's a one-hander, I'm just gonna fold it over. I'm gonna take the finishing tape. And I am going to place it so they can read it as if they were holding the handle over the end of the grip. And then the finishing tape, you're gonna just slightly pull just so that way it looks good. You don't wanna over pull. And then the very last tab, I don't touch with my fingers. I just pull it off and press it down. So that way it has the full sticky and that's how you do an overgrip.